morning prayer for Friday begins on page 413 in your prayer books. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of God's grace. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean, from a guilty conscience, and bodies washed with pure water. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The two psalms set for today. The first of these is Psalm 41 on page 264. Psalm 41. Blessed are they that consider the poor and helpless. The Lord will deliver them in the day of trouble. The Lord will guard them and preserve their life. They shall be counted happy in the land. You will not give them over to the will of their enemies. And if they lie sick on their bed, the Lord will sustain them. If illness lays them low, you will overthrow it. I said, O Lord, be merciful toward me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me, saying, When will he die and his name perish forever? And if someone comes to see me, they marry with empty words, while their heart gathers mischief, and when they go out, they vent it. All those that hate me whisper together against me. They devise plots against me. They say, a deadly thing has got hold of him. He will not get up again from where he lies. Even my bosom friend, in whom I trusted, who shared my bread has lifted his heel against me. But you, O oh Lord, be gracious and raise me up, and I will repay them what they have deserved. By this will I know that, uh, that you favour me, that my enemy shall not triumph over me. Because of my innocence you hold me fast. You have set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting. Amen. Amen. And now Psalm 44, page 266. Psalm 44, verses 1 to 9. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forebears have told us. What things you did in their time, in the days of old. How by your own hand you drove out the nations and planted us in. How you crushed the peoples, caused us to root and grow. For it is not by their swords that our fathers took possession of the land. Nor did their own arm get them the victory. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance because you delighted in them. You are my King and my God, who ordained victory for Jacob. By your power we struck our enemies through. In your name we trod down those that rose against us. For I did not trust in my bow, nor could my sword save me. But it was you that delivered us from our enemies put our adversaries to confusion. 
In God we made our boast all the day long. We gave thanks to your name without ceasing. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The first of our readings is from the book of the prophet Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 8 to 19. Was your wrath against the rivers, O Lord, or your anger against the rivers, or your rage against the sea, when you drove your horses, your chariots to victory? You brandished your naked bow, sated were the arrows at your command. You split the earth with rivers, the mountains saw you and writhed, a torrent of water swept by, the deep gave forth its voice, the sun raised high its hand, the moon stood still, in its exalted place, at the light of your arrows speeding by, at the gleam of your flashing spear. In fury you trod the earth, in anger you trampled nations. You came forth to save your people, to save your anointed. You crushed the head of the wicked house, laying it bare from foundation to roof. You pierced with, your, with his own arrows the head of the, his warriors, who came like a whirlwind to scatter us, gloating as if ready to devour the poor who were in hiding. You trampled the sea with your horses, churning the mighty waters. I hear and tremble within, my lips quiver at the sound. Rottenness enters into my bones and my steps tremble beneath me. I wait quietly for the day of calamity to come upon the people who attack us. Though the fig tree does not blossom and no fruit is on the vines, though the produce of the olive fails and the fields yield no food though the flock is cut off from the fold and there is no herd in the stalls yet i will rejoice in the lord i will ex exult in the god of my salvation god the lord is my strength he makes my feet like the feet of a deer and makes me tread upon the heights to the choir master with stringed instruments May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The second reading is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 43 through to verse 4 of chapter 6. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not send a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues. And in the streets so that they may be praised by others truly i tell you they have received their reward when you give alms do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your alms may be done in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you may your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory and now the canticle savior of the world Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. 
In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The prayer for this week. O oh God, without you we are not able to please you. Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we pray this morning that as God's people, we may be able to live out Christ's law of love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that we may forgive our enemies and those who may have hurt or wronged us in any way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that we may do away with division and selfishness and that we may overcome evil by goodness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that those who are hardened by sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and to change their ways. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray today for the Diocese of Adelaide, for Archbishop Geoffrey Smith and Assistant Bishops Dennis Ferguson, Timothy Harris, Christopher MacLeod, for all the clergy and all the people in that diocese. We pay, pray for all those who work in our offices in diocesan finance. And we pray for the parish of St John's Highton, for Will Orpwood and Christopher Lynch, the clergy team, and for all the people in that parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our own parish of all saints with St. Catherine, for all our parish family. And in our parish cycle of prayer, we pray today for Tom and Janet Chapman, Shirley Chesterman, and Manfred Klaas. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.